What's going on guys? Welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Last time my friends we continued our adventure here in the Metro Kingdom. We obtained 20 power moons. Today is the day where we are going to be departing from this beautiful city. We are going to complete this kingdom. Not all the way through though. There's a couple power moons that I won't be able to get in this episode. Uh, two of which are actually ones that I completely suck at and then there's one that you can't do yet until you've uh, beaten or unlocked you know, certain things in other kingdoms which I'm not going gonna spoil i mean maybe i will i'll talk about it later in the episode when i actually get to that part but before we begin you all know the drill drop a like on this video and don't forget to answer the comment question of the day last time i asked you guys what content other than let's plays would you like to see come to the channel and here are some of the responses we got today's comment question of the day is if you could live anywhere in the world where would it be and why for me, I would not want to leave America just yet, but if I had to leave this place and I had to go move somewhere else, I would probably say someplace near Japan. Not really Japan, though, because I don't want to get hit by a tsunami or an earthquake. It's uh, pretty known that, you know, tsunamis and earthquakes happen there. It's, it's tragic, obviously, and I don't want to really put myself in that situation, but probably somewhere in that area, you know, where it's like uh, you got Japanese culture, and I love Japanese architect. Like, if if I could have a Japanese, you know, style house in like a beautiful green garden hidden in like some forest or up on a mountain, dude, that would be the sickest thing ever, you know? It would it would literally be the definition of heaven here on earth. So, that's where most likely I would be. Not necessarily Japan, but somewhere in that, you know, vicinity. Uh, or Malaysia. I think Malaysia is the same thing as well. So, I mean, who knows? But, I mean, Metro Kingdom got me thinking a lot about that, you know? If I want to live in, in some big city sort of I, it would be dope for real so anyways let's actually take a quick look and see how many power moons we have to collect we have exactly 16 power moons that we need to get um actually wait let me do the math that's wrong math that's uh 75 that's 10 plus that's 16 power moons i was correct and less than 40 coins we have 37 coins as well so we should be able to do everything in this episode i don't have my trusty bowser sidekick next to me i probably need to go grab him Seriously, having this Bowser amiibo is a real lifesaver. It saves you so much time uh, and having to explore every kingdom to look for the purple coins. I mean, without this thing, dude, I would most likely end up spending so much time trying to figure out where they are. But there's, uh, there's a lot of power moons that I don't necessarily remember off the top of my head. So I'm going to be using the guide just so you guys know. Some people think it's shit like, gosh, dang it, Sully. Why do you use the guide? Hey, man, this game has a lot of power moons. And it's not like the kingdoms are super, super big or, you know, power moons are spread out. So sometimes it's hard to remember all of them. But there is one here. And surprisingly, Cappy does not tell you that, you know, hey, I remember this place. You forgot a power moon. I think he just doesn't want to deal with that right now. He's just keeping it to himself, which is which is kind of crappy of him to do. He's not really a good friend at this point. He's supposed to... Oh, no! Get these little things out of the way. Those are disgusting, weird fly mo I don't know what that would be described as but you know we're just gonna go ahead and pass them so apparently there was a power moon literally hidden up here who would have ever guessed that you know not me I, I definitely have to use the guide for this one you know I'll openly admit that I use a guide the guide is like you know a let's it's like a walkthrough or a let's play but you know in book form so it's pretty nice I would say uh, actually let's go back to Main Street entrance as well uh, there's a couple po or coins in that area that I know for a fact I probably didn't get. I say probably because who knows, man. Sometimes I don't give myself the benefit of the doubt and I say that I never did this and then I ended up doing it or whatever. So actually there's another power mood here. So you come back to this place and you do the RC challenge again. This time though you have to beat it in 26 seconds which does seem a little bit difficult to do because you have to do three laps and knowing me I am not the best RC driver in the business you know I definitely crash into walls a lot so that that's definitely a thing I'm gonna oh gosh okay so at least I'm doing it pretty good right now I screwed myself up by saying that why do I gotta brag about my my amazing skills 
when oh no i'm not even that good okay so that's eight seconds i think we could do this actually as long as i don't hit any more walls we have six seconds to get through this oh my gosh we could do it we could do it oh we literally had 0.1 millisecond left and then i would have had to redo it but 25.99 that still makes me qualified to get the power moon out of this one so it's a good thing dude that i was able to do it a lot less crashing into walls the first time around and i guess this time around than i did the first time which is pretty nice it's uh not really a difficult power moon it's actually one of the easiest ones to do um it's weird like when i first played the game i had no idea how to control the rc but now it's very easy like once you actually get the hang of it um so anyways yep there they are the power moons or the, the power moons you know the coins for a fact that i didn't grab there's also a couple coins uh on top of this building but how do i get there probably use this obviously let's woohoo fly all the way up to the tippity top and then let's go over here you'll see like a sign yep two coins very nice um also <clears throat> we're gonna be visiting actually let me double check because i know i might have skipped over them in the lp uh it actually does look like I skipped over them. Let me see. 29 and 30 in the guide what they are. Because there's a couple of them that aren't actually in the guide. And that's because you usually get them the first time around you play the kingdom. Okay, no, no, no. So 29 and 30 are the jump rope challenges, which I'm skipping over. I suck at those ones, dude. There is no freaking way I'm about to do them. So 34 is not in the book, meaning it's one that you were supposed to get uh, in, the, in the beginning of the game. Which I didn't do, but I'll go ahead and do it now. So you go to the New Donk City Hall. Apparently, this is where it all took place at the very beginning. Who would have guessed, man? Like, we had to scale the skyscrapers of New Donk City, but from a distance. Like, look at where the Odyssey's at. Where are you, Odyssey? Where is it at? Where is it? Where, okay, so it's right there. So we started off there, and we, like, ended up working our way around, but we never touched New Donk City. Like, we battled even the Mecha Wiggler before even entering New Dog City. It was pretty crazy. So, there's a Power Moon located here. The question is, where is it? Well, it's pretty nearby, I would hope. I, I, at least... Okay, yeah, it's definitely right here. So, you want to climb this thing. And then, you want to, you know, make your way across over here. And then, inside of that chest, you'll find yourself a Power Moon. I'm also positive there's a couple coins here as well that I didn't collect. But, I'm not going to be doing it from this entry. Actually, you know what? What would happen if I fell from the top? I wonder if I'll fall all the way and land on some platform. That would actually be pretty dope. Let's see. I could look around pretty nicely and see if there's any coins that I skipped over. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything here. Uh, let me just keep going down. Oh, I see some coins. I see some coins. Oh! Oh no! I don't know why I went that way. I should have went a different way. Whatever, it's fine, dude. I actually managed to get those three while falling to my own death. You know, Mario, that deserves a round of applause. Good job, buddy. You really surprised me there. All right, let's see what happens now. Ah! Oh no! Okay, I managed to live. I managed to live. That's amazing. Um, let's just take a look though and see if there's any more that I missed. Let me kill this guy, stupid thing on the jigs. Okay, it looks like I got those ones. Oh! What the heck, game? Why do you have these disgusting gnats, flies, whatever they are? It's hideous. Okay, I got those two, so at least I'm good on that part. Where else can I go to next? Um, oh yeah, let's do the top part of New Donk City. So there's a floating power moon somewhere. It's either on a roof or it's floating just in the city. There's that one. And there's all of the moon rock ones. I forgot about those ones, to be honest. Those ones are pretty dope, though. Let's take a look, though. Where is that power moon that I saw? Oh, it's right there. You see it? It's all the way, it's all the way over there. And I see some coins as well. All right, that's dope. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to land on this triangular building over here. All right. Oh, I can't long jump, dude, for the life of me, especially off of a ledge like that. It's like I have to, you know, do it off of, um, I have to be running to, to be able to do it. Okay, so what you want to do is, dude, I saw this movie the other day. It was called uh, Room 1408, and this part reminds me of it. Oh, no. 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 Gosh, dang it, dude. I got to do it again. But essentially, this dude is a paranormal uh, investigator. He goes and, you know, stays in creepy places for the night just to make sure, you know, like, you know, it's, it's, I, I, I guess that's what he does. He's a writer, but he investigates paranormal stuff. So he 
takes, you know, oh, wow, I did it. Yo, that's pretty nice. I never thought I could do it from here, but I'm glad I did. So this guy, he goes around, visits different places, writes books about his paranormal experience. I guess he's one of those dudes who tries to debunk, you know, ghosts and whatnot. You know, I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe in uh, jinns. You know, they're like, they're kind of, they're, they're weird creatures. If you're Middle Eastern, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're not, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But they're essentially like ghosts, except they're not human spirits. They're their own living creatures, and they... You know, they haunt people, and they mess around with you, and they just do terrible things all around. They're not good. I mean, they're, some of them are good, some of them are bad. But that's I feel like that's how people get possessed and whatnot. You know, there's always an explanation for something, and most people just, if they can't put an explanation to it, they're like, eh, it doesn't, it's, it's not real. It's, you know, crazy stock. It's crazy people talking and, you know, coming up with theories and whatnot, but... Anyways, uh, hold on. Where am I supposed to go? I'm trying to get up onto that roof. You see? Um, that's what I'm trying to do. But the question is, how do I do that? I think I gotta... Let me see. I gotta do something. I gotta go around this building. Don't I? Don't I? Maybe? Is there like a power pole or something? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I have to really climb this. Okay, whatever. Fine. That's cool. I'll do it. Mario, don't whack your head like that. You gotta be more careful. Otherwise, you'll get a concussion. But back to my story. Oh, come on, dude. This sucks. Okie ok okay, dokie. I am garbage. All right, here we go. There you go. Don't fall, please, Mario. Just walk. Walk up the fire escape. There you go. Very nice. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. See, how hard was that? Hey, look at this. Nice reward for me as well. And look at that. There's also some more over there. Let's go grab them. You know, this is making my job a lot easier. We don't necessarily need Bowser, you know, for this. We're just finding them all around New Donk. All right, let's climb this and woohoo. There you go. See, I'm doing it. I'm making my way all the way up to the top without taking some cheap route. This is the same building Peach is on. Okay, cool. All right, so I feel like, uh, okay, where is it? There it is. There it is. I see you. This is the trouble that I had to go through for this one. All right, so you want to... There you go, do that. The only time you really want to shake the pro controller whenever there's coins is this time because there's a power moon as a reward for going through all that trouble and getting it. Hey, look at that, more coins. Don't mind if I do, game. I'll definitely go grab them. Woohoo! But anyways, back to my story. So this guy, he went to, it's in the movie. So the guy, he went to New York because he heard about this hotel that people stayed in. And then every time uh, somebody would stay in it, they would end up something bad would happen and most likely it was always them ending up killing themselves because of you know the, you'd have to watch the movie to get it but what I'm trying to say is these buildings remind me of that movie yes I know that was probably the longest explanation for something you've ever heard in your life it was probably very stupid but I got it out of my chest so we're good but remember that one place that I visited before in this kingdom? I don't know where it is because, you know, I'm stupid like that and I don't remember things. Could it be this one? I'm thinking it's this one. It has to be. Nope, it's not this one. Okay, so I'm literally looking for the room where, like, all the people are rushing in and out of different areas to. And Cappy was like, hey, I remember this place. I think there's a power moon hidden in here somewhere. But we never found the power moon, but now I know exactly where the power moon is. I think that's the theater. It could be this. I think it's this one, actually. Is this it? I hope it's this. It better be this, or I'm going to kill you. You, outside this building, I'm going to kill you. Ah, it's this one. Okay. So you want to stand, I guess, right here and just wait. You're going to see a guy. There he is. I see you. I found you. He has a friend, a couple of friends out here. No, don't go in the room. No, there you go. Very nice. So he has, uh, you know, remember the, the Cappy dude, uh, the guy from the Cap Kingdom? He told us he had a couple of friends, not just one. We found one of his friends walking on the sidewalk, and the second guy was in here. And it makes sense now. I kind of figured that's what it was going to be, honestly, when I couldn't figure out where the Power Moon was. But I just didn't know, to be honest. So let's see. Now what do we have to do? I guess we can do the those... Um, those uh, those those ones yes that one exactly you know exactly what i'm thinking right you don't obviously not but that's what i'm gonna say those ones right there so we're jumping off this building don't ever do this kids you will die i don't know how f oh gosh Woo i'm gonna die 
surprisingly, Mario didn't die, and I rolled for the first time ever in my entire life. I think there's actually a couple of coins hidden in this alleyway. Oh, yeah, there it is. See, I, I remember things, guys. 86. We're almost done. We almost got all the coins in Metro Kingdom. I'm excited about this. All right, so now we got to make our way across. And then climb this roof. And then there's a chimney. And then there's also a chimney over there, which we haven't visited. Oh, there's more coins. Very nice. Okay, this is nice. I love this kingdom because you can literally scope out everything with ease. It's not hard. But this one's pretty dope. I like it. It's uh, pretty exhilarating, I must say. Well, not that, but you know what I mean. When I do it right, it's pretty exhilarating. I mean, that's the, that's the thrill right there. It's just maybe dying or falling but you have to angle the camera properly otherwise it does get a little difficult you know to control so anyways we got the hammer bros out here they're trying to kill me it's fine though i'm gonna possess them real quick and then get out of here before anyone starts throwing hammers at me you know i don't like that i'm not really a big fan of that abuse no yeah it might take me a little while to get past this part but it's whatever it's the last time we're gonna visit Metro Kingdom for Power Moons. I mean, not really though. We'll be back, maybe for a couple more, but you know what I'm trying to say. This is the last area. Oh gosh, for like main story Power Moons. Woohoo! All right, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. All right, there you go, very nice. So I, that's my problem, I'm just impatient, you know? I like to do things quick. So when it, you have to take your sweet time to do things, just, I'm not really a big fan of that. Oh, no, 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 do not kill me. No, no, don't do it. Okay. Woohoo. All right, so you just want to jump across. And then inside this giant block of dirt that's just chilling on this uh, girder, whatever you want to call it. There is a power moon. Swinging scaffolded, uh, scaffold, scaffolding break. All right, whatever. All right. Woo just jump all the way across, kill this thing. Nope, nope! I killed him, surprisingly, but he was gonna kill me first. And now I just gotta make it all the way across without dying. Hopefully I don't die. You know, it's not that hard to get across, but sometimes you can, you know, get a little too hasty and bing bada bing shalang, die just like that. But you know what? It's all good. I don't need no more stupid hammer, bro. I could have just popped out of his head with my boy Mario and used the Cappy Bounce and I would have made it just fine, but you know, it's whatever. I wanted to make sure that he lived. It's all good, you know. I'm gonna just do it like this though, because it's a lot easier to do it like this. Just, you know, well, I've actually never tried it like this, but I mean, clearly this is a lot easier. There you go. Now we just gotta make it across here. Hopefully I don't die. And that would be a real shame. Woohoo! No! All right, that was close. Woohoo! We got it! Very nice, dude. I like it. Mario's way more, you know... I don't even know what I was going with that. I forgot what I was gonna say. Mario is just good with moving. He's a phenomenal mover, I must say. Not the moving kind of, you know, like moving stuff around. But he's just, he's just a good mover. He moves pretty nicely. So, uh, let's go ahead and pick up these coins real quick. Grab them. Man, I'm gonna miss Metro Kingdom, to be honest. It's a beautiful place, dude. Beautiful place to be. The atmosphere, the people, it's just honestly the most lively kingdom in this game. And I like that. Even though at first I was dissing it, sort of saying, you know, Mario does not fit here at all. It's just you have people from- Oh, I love this one! You have people from all different kinds of backgrounds. So this is really fun. You just ride this thing all the way across. And you gotta hit the P switch before it disappears. And then it'll activate more areas for you. So apparently if you lose your scooter, because that's a thing, you can go ahead and pick up another one. But controlling the scooter is very easy to do in this game, surprisingly. Uh, and then you go ahead and jump on this. And then watch out for the tanks. And then you're gonna go ahead and make your way this way. There you go, very nice. You know, if Mario Kart has taught me anything, it's taught me how to drift properly without screwing things up. So that's two power moons right there. Oh, what? Are you for real? My scooter can destroy tanks like that just by driving into them? All right, cool. I'll take it. Motor scooter daredevil. That's right. Only daredevils will do such crazy things. I don't care how much money is presented to me. I would never do this. And I don't know why I go to money, but I feel like money talks. Money is what persuades people to do things, you know? If you get a job and it pays well, I mean, you really start thinking about all the good things you can have in life, even if it means working a crappy job that you're not really happy with. And you're just like, eh, the money, the money's worth it, I guess. 
All right, let's see. We have 74, so that means we have one, uh, two, three. I can think of three off the top of my head. Um, let's see. What is this one? 56. All right, that's, this is the part where I use the guide. You know, we're almost done with this place, so now I... Oh, okay, I think I know. 56 is Surprise Clown. That's the one that we actually can't do yet because we don't know where the clown is. 53 is found in Metro Kingdom Art, which we're going to be doing later on the episode. Secret Path to New Donk. Um, oh, oh, I see. This one is also a secret. I forgot about this one completely. So this is the, the poster in, uh, in the Sand Kingdom. So I guess we have to visit the Sand Kingdom as well in this episode. Uh, but moving on, we have 76, 77, and then that's it for the Moon Rocks. I actually know what this one is. I don't necessarily remember where it was, though. Oh, now I know where it's at. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to the heliport right here where the helicopters land. I thought at first that's where the Odyssey was at because, you know, the Odyssey has, like, a big giant H underneath it for, like, you know, helicopter landing and stuff. But it's not that. There's multiple different ones here in New Donk City. So you want to go ahead and just jump off the side of the building, I think. Is that what I need to do? Maybe? Oh, nice! Cool, it's a hearty heart! Come again! Hey, come again, buddy boy! No, I'm not coming again. Why aren't you at work? Why are you just standing there? What is he doing? I don't know. So I'm looking for that right there where we found Pauline's purse. Go ahead and make your way inside of this war pipe and welcome to the creepy, darky, spooky tavern! So this place is actually pretty dope. You know, at first I was trying to avoid these things, which you'll see. It's the most terrifying experience ever! But you just, you know, jump on them like that. Yep, that's it. That's all you gotta do. I was literally doing this in a very ghetto way. I was, uh, <laughs> I was, wow, that's pretty convenient how he ended up being right there. But I was literally trying to, you know, spin jump like this, and then I'd end up doing the cappy bounce or whatever on it, and I'd make my way up there. But right now we got this guy here. Uh, can I make it up there, my boy? Nope, you're not gonna let me do it, are you? Okay, so let's go this way. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. Right here. Right here, Saya. Alright, so once you stand on that thing. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That is not good. That is no, no. Is there like even a cutout? I guess you have to do like a, a wall jump. Hey, buddy. How's it going, dude? Go ahead. Smack yourself. All right, so what you want to do here is, I believe, is just angle yourself and- Oh, no! You gotta try to get on top of this thing. So, it's not hard. I, I don't know why I'm making it seem more complicated than it is, but... You just get the power moon, bing shalang like that. Very nice. And there's another one. You see those two little fires? Well, it's not there. It's actually right here. So, there's an invisible path, but... I'm gonna do this to get away. I'm gonna- Woohoo! Long jump and then land directly into the hole to ensure that I don't land accidentally in no lava or, you know, fruit loop puke. That's not really my thing, dude. I don't do that no more. So let me actually take a look at how many power moons we have left. We have the two jump rope ones, the clown one, that's three, and then four and five. So if I have five remaining, then I got them all. And I do! So congratulations to me. Guys, we are technically done with the mush or the Metro Kingdom. Now we could do the fun thing, and that is look for the coins. So how many coins do we need? We need 11 more coins. So let's see exactly where the first set of coins are. Um, oh, they're up there on the roof somehow. So this is the best part, honestly, is trying to figure out how to climb each and every single roof. Uh, naturally, normally I would just, you know, use the, what's it called? The war pipes, or I mean not the war pipes, but the flagpoles to just, you know, travel from one destination to the next. But doing that would mean that I'd literally have to, you know, reset the, um, the amiibo thingamajig. So, I'm not gonna do that right now. Alright, go ahead and... Oh, no! Dude, I, I sometimes don't know what I click, man. Sometimes I just mash buttons and hope for the best. And this seems to be one of those things, you know? I'm just mashing some buttons, and I'm hoping Mario will do some outstanding move that will shock you and I both. But- OH NO! WHAT THE HECK, GAME?! WHY?! Why is that always what I do? Blame the game for my terrible mechan- OH NO, MARIO! Your head is bleeding. You're gonna have an aneurysm, my boy. I'm so sorry, but I just gotta keep doing it. You would think at this point I would give up, right? But I'm just- you know, I'm not. I'm very stubborn. 
I know I can make it through this hole. I'm gonna do it. Believe in yourself. There you go. You just gotta give yourself a little bit of distance. That's all. And then Mario will make it across. Alright, so I'm a little scared, you know. It's always those little jumps that terrify me. But there you go. All just to get across here. I know. It's really, it really sucks. You know, all that trouble just for what? Just for a couple of coins? It'll be worth it though. Where are the coins at? Where is the hole? Uh, probably up here. Let's go. Right, let's see. Where are the little thingamajigs? Dude, I literally saw it around here. What the heck? I was down here and I saw the 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 purpleness. Oh, I see. They're up there. Can I climb up there? I can climb up there. I could just do this. You know, use this thing. Woohoo! Hey, there's four just chilling on this roof. So now we have seven more to go. I bet you it's gonna be two. Or actually, I don't know how it would actually work out. There's seven more to go, so probably one, three, and three. So it's taking me over there. Well, the question here is, guys, do I? Oh! I didn't make it. That sucks. But it's fine. I'll live. Uh, is that inside? I feel like that's inside. Okay, so, um, what can I do to get in there? Well, that's, that's a great question. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna just make our way to the natural entrance area. Alright, what if it's behind? Hmm. Let's see. Oh! Oh, there's three! I didn't get these ones, apparently. Alright, cool. So, 96. We got four more to go. I was gonna go inside this place and then end up not finding any coins. And I was gonna be mad at myself for not finding them. And be like, what the heck, game? And blame the game again, because that's what I love to do. Blame the game. It's called the blame game. You know? You just blame the game whenever things aren't going your way. But the best thing is to just literally skill to a high part of this place. Okay, yeah, this is definitely inside that area. Which I don't necessarily remember what this place was. It's not the theater, I'll tell you that. What is this place? Oh, obviously, dude, it's the stinking T-Rex place. Alright, so I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it, right? So you wanna make sure you're driving in the middle. Even if it means the T-Rex is gonna eat you, doesn't matter. I'm actually not gonna let him eat me, though. Cause, you know, that just- okay, whatever, fine. You already started! What the heck, dude? I wanna go back! Wait, I could go back?! Oh, but the, 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 yes, that's what happens, the ground falls. So, I'm gonna assume there's two more in here, and then, maybe the last one's also in here. Who knows? Because I totally forgot about coins being set in this spot. But we'll just drive this way, even if it means getting eaten by the T-Rex. Go ahead, man. Eat me. I bet I taste delicious. I'd probably eat myself, too, you know? Don't worry about it. Oh, no! Okay, gosh dang it, dude. Alright, I'm gonna just drive in the middle. Oh, we got all 100 coins. Peace. I ain't gonna let myself die. I'm piecing from this place. So now what we could do is we can go get all the stuff we need for our Odyssey and then complete this kingdom by getting the last two power moons and not these two right here. Uh, the question is why solely am I not doing it? Well, honestly, I suck. I really do suck at this jump rope game. I am not good at clicking the button over and over and over and timing precise jumps. I hate that. And it's the same thing with the volleyball challenge, which you'll see later on in the LP when we make it to the Seaside Kingdom. I am not good with that. And I'm probably just gonna save it all for the end of the LP. Just do it all off screen, record it for you guys, and then just show it off in a video. But, you know, I hope you guys forgive me. It's just those are like my least favorite power moons in the game. Uh, actually ones that I don't like at all. I, when I say least favorite, I'm saying like, you know, I like them, but those ones, they're not even on my like list. They're on my dislike list. I'll probably do like a top 10 best power moons, top 10 worst power moons, top 10 uh, hardest power moons, and like, probably not even easiest, because easiest, there's so many of them. I guess I could, I could do that maybe. But we got the picture for the for the Lake Kingdom. We know where the Sand Kingdom is. The the, the picture is so technically we have that'd be 79, and then 80. Wait, wait, that'd be 77, 78, 79. So it'd be at yeah, 77, 78, and then three, which I will be getting later on in the game. But technically, we are done with the Metro Kingdom, my dudes, and I'm very happy about this. So now we can move our way on to the next kingdom. And it's, the good thing is, this is like the last real kingdom 
like that's gonna be super duper long actually no i forgot bowser's kingdom that's right oopsie daisy bowser's kingdom even luncheon kingdom is not that bad like in terms of length but what do we want to do first i guess we'll do the seaside or the sand kingdom why not go back to my own homeland visit the sand roll around in it touch it you know do my own thing down here it'll be dope i like sand I really do. You know, I'm not just saying that because I'm Egyptian. I actually do like sand. I like the way it feels on your feet when you're not wearing socks. You know, you ever go to the beach and you stand on really smooth sand? Yeah, I bet this feels just as good, if not better. It looks very fine. All right, go ahead and take the jack seat. Oh, no, look at this. The Bob the Beard is riding the jack seat. So the poster for the Metro Kingdom is located behind that giant pillar. We've seen this before. Like, actually, this is, like, one of the first things I've seen in the game. And I'm like, whoa, what is this? I didn't want to go in it, obviously. But I should have probably went in it at the time. But it takes you to the Metro Kingdom. I don't necessarily know exactly where. I'm assuming it'll be on, like, some far-off tower or building, which you can't reach normally. Wait, what? What the heck is this? Isolated rooftop. I actually figured that. Yep, that's, yeah, that's, that's what I figured it would be. So far off of everything else, and you could still see the city. And it looks so close from where we're standing, but it's not. It's very far. But we're back in the Metro Kingdom again. I should have done this in. Ah, I should have done this one last, because I would have ended up coming back to Metro Kingdom. It would have made much more sense to do it that way. 571. Oh yeah. All right. So now, the last one is that picture that we found on the building. And obviously, it doesn't take rocket science to figure out that it's in the Lake Kingdom. Now, I did get a little stuck on this one because there is no Poochie in the Lake Kingdom. But I just assumed and figured that, oh, there's probably no Poochie. You can't really see it, but the Poochie's indicating that there's a power moon in said area. And that's exactly what it was. Um, actually, technically speaking, I, yeah, I didn't beat this kingdom all the way either. There's like three power moons that I... 78, 79... Uh, or 39, 40, 41, 40. There's five power moons. What? Why did I skip over five power moons? That is... That is not cool. I don't know why. I'll actually look at them and see what exactly the five are. Because I don't remember skipping over five. I thought it was just three, to be honest. Let's see. There's five, apparently. I know there's three of the outfit ones. And then there's two of these ones. I don't know what these two are. I guess, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll come back to it and figure it out when the time is ready for it. But, woo! Go ahead and jump across. There you go. Very nice. And then you're going to stand on... Actually, you're going to go back down in here. Because from the picture, it was actually five pillars. Or multiple pillars. It wasn't just four. So, you want to grind on this area. Where the poochie was standing or sniffing things out. What the heck? Okay, it's definitely some some place right here. Oh, there it is. Right there. Ah, there you go. We got it. You got a power moon found in Metro Kingdom. Very nice. So what does that mean, guys? That means we are done with the Metro Kingdom for now. Meaning we can move on to... Uh, what kingdom are we moving on to next? The Snow Kingdom. Ooh. This will be nice. I'm excited for this one. I This is like my least known kingdom i don't know anything about this kingdom like i've spent the least amount of time here and i don't really know it that well so i'm excited personally to spend some time in this kingdom and then going on to one of my favorites or my favorite seaside luncheon ruined which actually has five power moons in it bowser's kingdom the moon kingdom the dark side and then back to the mushroom kingdom we still have more than half this game to go guys but this this is exciting stuff for us so thank you all so much for watching we'll meet again in the metro kingdom in the next episode and then we'll just take off to the snow kingdom so i'll see you guys then peace out